crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains. Uncover buried treasure and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. Welcome to the Yakima River Canyon, just south of Ellensburg, Washington. We're in the eastern part of the state, the slopes of the Cascades. This is icy cold water coming from the mountains flowing right through the desert. Folks from across the Pacific Northwest use this canyon as a destination. It's all here. This canyon is also a destination for geologists. There's a very unusual story here about how the canyon formed, and the answer might surprise you. All across the American West, rivers have carved canyons into bedrock. The Colorado River in Arizona created the Grand Canyon. The Snake River of Idaho created Hell's Canyon. And the mighty Columbia River created the Columbia River Gorge upstream of Portland, Oregon. Each of these canyons is pretty straight, pretty linear. But here in central Washington, the Yakima River is anything but straight. The river meanders wildly, especially between Ellensburg and the city of Yakima. As a result, the canyon curves against three major bedrock ridges. How is it possible for such a lazy river to blast through basalt bedrock ridges more than a thousand feet high? Were there weak spots in the ridges that the river exploited? Or is there a more basic geology concept that we're missing? Is it possible the Yakima River is older than the ridges? What do you think? The river was here first, and this land has been lifting against the river. We know the river is older because of its curvy nature. Meanders only form when an area is flat. So you got it? The river was here first when the air was flat. Then this land started to lift, and these ridges started to grow. Why? The canyon is a direct result of California and Nevada moving northward and squeezing us here in central Washington. Researchers in Nevada today are working on the timing of this. Much of Nevada, California, to the west of these faults is moving 40 to 60 kilometers northwest. So the big question is, where does that 40, 60 kilometers go? Well, it's going into northeastern California. Okay, then northeastern California, where is that then going? It's going into southern Oregon. And then there's the complicating factor. We have the subduction zone along the west coast there. So that causes clockwise rotation of Oregon translated into squeezing the ridges that we observe now today between Ellensburg and Yakima. The Yakima River Canyon, a beautiful place with a unique geologic story to tell. Thanks for joining us. We'll look for you next time.